Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be going over how you can access the php.ini file from cPanel and if it's at all possible for certain scenarios. So let's get right into it. cPanel is, of course, as I've mentioned previously, a online Linux based GUI for managing your server and your server files or your website and your website files both work just the same and it is very useful it is a monthly based subscription service so just keep that in mind but i would recommend you use it if you're having trouble managing your server now uh, i am using this uh, good old stack overflow article so if you have any other issues please look at all the answers which you have here there are a few i'll be going over however the php.ini file is pretty much exclusive to your hosting service now you can only directly access it if you are using a, a hosted server by yourself or a dedicated server which you are using on your own device uh, it is usually just owned by your hosting provider if you are under a hosting plan however there are some ways to bypass this if your hosting uh, provider allows you to uh, so as you can see this uh, person wants to change the php post array from uh, 1000 to 6000 and of course uh, you need to find the php.ini file and it is located at user slash local slash lib slash php.ini this is a instruction file however you might not have access to that in cpanel it is under software select php version switch to php options change value and saved if you are using your own hosted server as i've said as you can see, this, or, uh, this user here says you won't have access, uh, and if you need access, a virtual private server or a dedicated server may be a good option. However, if you want to edit it, if your hosting server service allows you to, uh, you need to create a file called htaccess, which your uh, website probably already has, in the root of your web directory. And you need to make sure it doesn't have a .txt extension if you're using Notepad. Then you want to copy something like this, which is a command into that file. And this will only work, as I've said, if your hosting provider lets you override the certain configuration file. Uh, if it doesn't work, you might need to request it from them and request they change the, that themselves. However, uh, you can find, as I've said, under software, the php.ini file if you wish to do that you might not be able to access it. However, that is pretty much it. As I've said, just uh, locate this article and you should find any fix that you need uh, if this tutorial wasn't helpful enough. But that's pretty much it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be seeing you guys in another video.